Nemso Indian Defense, Classical Variation, 4, 005.e4. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed Black in that one. Black had a good opening, but White was on another level. White pounced on their opportunities in the middle game. Opening with the Queen's Pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. By taking control of the crucial d5 square and creating a space on which the knight can move to c3 without obstructing the c-pawn, move c4 helps to create a strong center. The move e6 creates a line for the dark squared bishop, sets up a rapid castle, and prepares to push a pawn to d5 and recover the piece if it is taken. And c3 develops the knight to fight for the e4 square and to control d5. In the Nimso Indian defense, bb4 pins the knight on c3 and threatens to trade, disturbing white's pawns after bx c3 and preventing it from moving or defending e4. qc2 defends the knight on c3 and continues the fight for the e4 square. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. The e4 square occupies space in the middle, rules the d5 and f5 squares, and promotes the development of the light squared bishop. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. This kicks an opposing bishop. This is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. Backs off. This strikes at the center with a pawn, fighting for space. This threatens to win a pawn. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is the final book action. This misses a chance to use a pawn to attack the center. It is incorrect. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Castling develops a rook while moving the king to a safer position beyond the board center. Castling to the same side of the board as your adversary helps you escape some of the attacking that comes with castling to the other side. It is ideal. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. It is quite good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This misses a chance to build a bishop outside of its starting square. It is incorrect. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is ideal. This misses an opportunity to develop a bishop off its starting square. It is a mistake. It's alright. That's good. The knight becomes more active as a result, gaining control over more of the board. It is quite good. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is ideal. Thus, a knight is lost. It is incorrect. That pawn's capture grants you material. That's good. This could have been done lot better. It is incorrect. This reveals an assault and puts a pawn in danger. It is quite good. This defends the pawn that was attacked. It is quite good. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Recaptures. It is ideal. A pawn kicks the opposing knight, forcing it to move or risk being captured. That's good. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. That's good. This exposes a pawn attack. It is ideal. A pawn kicks the opposing bishop, forcing it to move or risk being captured. It is quite good. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. That pawn was available for free. That's good. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. That's good. This defends a piece that is being attacked but is not well defended. It is quite good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is best. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed black in that one. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. 
White pounced on their opportunities in the middle game. 